So what if I want to find out how much I'm paying interest or principal uh, for a given amount of time uh, between periods? That's actually, again, if we look at this amortization schedule, uh, kind of confusing. I would like to maybe know how much I paid on interests this year. We can actually do that instead of doing a sum and having to calculate it out. We're able to actually uh, use the cum interest payment function. Now, that does exactly that. It's going to look at all of these different factors that we have, like our rate. Now, make sure to F for that, like our in per. Make sure to F for that. Now, PV, one more. Now, when we get to start period, in period, this is actually saying, uh, again, we're looking for the cumulative interest that I had to pay between a given between two different periods. Since I know that the periods were uh, basically 1 to 20, uh, I can say that my start period was at per payment period 1 to payment period 4. Now we do have to specify the type and just so you can see that type actually refers to when the payment happened at the end of the period at 0 or at the beginning of the period 1. For our sake we'll go ahead and just make it 1 or 0. zero. Now when I hit enter, you see that across the first year, I paid about $20,000 in interest alone. That's a lot. But as I autofill this across, you're going to see that over time, my interest, the amount I've paid in interest, got lower. And my auto sum for this indicates that I made in total about $60,000 worth of interest. Uh, I was paying just on that. Now principal, as you can guess, I can do the exact same thing. I have a cumulative principal that I can work off of. P-R-I-N-C. And the same factor comes in. I need to know the rate, F4. I need to know the in per, F4. I need to know the PV, F4. I need to know the start and the end. And once again, since we said that the type was zero in interest, let's go ahead and at least keep that uh, going here. We can see that my first payment, uh, the first year, I spent all, about $51,000 in my amount uh, towards my principal. And as I bring that across, you see as I moved throughout my five-year plan, suddenly I was paying a lot more towards principal in the end. So again, if we auto sum this, we should see a total of $300,000, which exactly we do. Now, just so we can see it, uh, I can apply a little bit of a principal remaining. Again, I started off with $300,000 on the balance, but then when we come down to uh, year one, actually, sorry, we started with 300000 but then we made payments of 51000 Then when we come over here, we started the year at 24, uh, 248000 uh, still on our loan. And we added 55, or we paid back 55 to that. And we can then take this number, this number, autofill it across. And what we should see at the end is, again, $0 because at the end of five years, we should have nothing left on our balance.